no smoke with me okay. Then turn this motherfucker up 800 degree Whole team eat chefs cause she's a treat Ooh, she's so bougie bougie uh -huh. What's up royalty gang? It's your girl Queen Lori and for today I'm back with another video Yes guys I'm back with a mother flipping video Okay, it's been a while since y'all see this gorgeous face. No, it hasn't happened. But anyway, what's up, guys? For my continued supporters, I love y'all. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Hit that subscription button. Turn on post notification. Check out some of my other videos and stay tuned and continue to watch this one. Let's get into this video. I wrote some stuff down because I don't want to be side I don't want to go sidetrack or be like you know lost of what I'm going to speak about because sometimes you know when you're ready to talk about something but then you start talking and then all of a sudden you just start talking about something else I don't want that so I have this thing right why men or women shouldn't depend on their spouse so why women or men shouldn't depend on their spouse me personally I have five things that I believe and I strongly believe that this will work and this will help you guys and this will help you guys understand the reason for not depending on your spouse or depending on anyone of that sort, okay? Number one, invest in yourself. And the reason why I stated invest in yourself is because when you invest in yourself, meaning you put some money aside, that's your money. You can put your money in some shoe in a shoebox. You can put it in a saving can. I don't know if you guys know some saving cans, but you guys can put it in a saving can or a shoebox or anywhere where you guys feel comfortable. If you're if you're a person that you don't work, but your husband or your boyfriend or anyone, your spouse, give you um money every month or give you money every week or bi-weekly it doesn't matter just if, if your if your spouse give you money overall what do you do with that money do you feel like you should go and buy buy all the brand stuff that you want that you want and not need or you feel like you should put at least at least something aside just to pay yourself so if anything should happen and your boyfriend turn to you or your spouse turn to you and say, um, babe, can I have, can I have $10,000? You know, guess what? You might not have that $10,000, but you have something that he will be like, oh, damn. Um, my baby's not working, but she definitely put something aside. And you, you know what I mean? Like something. Because anything can happen. Your spouse could be always be working and anything can happen. And then they turn to you, what what you going to do? Are you guys going to be homeless? Or you know that you have something aside that can balance your family and protect your family and keep your family going until at least one of you guys get a job to maintain that, that level that you guys were on. Number two, it put a burden. It put a burden on your spouse. Depending on your spouse, definitely put a burden on your spouse. Because when that person know that you, everyone, you and the kids or your children or your child, depending on him or on her to do everything, that person may not show it to you, but they're speaking to other people. And even if they're not speaking with other people of what's going on in their life and how how of how heavy of a burden you put it on them or how would I say it now? I don't want to use the wrong word, but you probably understand what I'm where I'm coming from or what I'm trying where I'm trying to go with this one. Because if if your partner feel burden or feel like everything everything that the family need is supposed to come from him or come from her at some point in their life, they're going to break. Because no matter what, things do happen. For, for, for example, look what happened last year. If your partner was the only one working at that time, and everything that happened last year, and probably your partner wasn't an essential, essential worker, or wasn't someone that 
getting paid after everything happened, what happened to your family at that time? But if you were a smart person to invest in yourself, then you definitely can balance your family until everything is back to normal. So let's go. Number three, having your own money means spending it however you please. So if you want anything, you don't have to go ahead and ask your partner for that. You know you can get it yourself. Um, anything that's happening, you know you can definitely go ahead. There's, there's no food in the house to eat. You need to go grocery shopping. You don't have to wait for your spouse to give it to you. You don't have to wait for your spouse to give it to you. You can go ahead and get it for yourself because you have your own little money put stuck aside that for, how would I say it now? I'll say like your, how would I call this money? Let's give this money a name. You have your own, not get big money. <laughs> you have your own little stash. Let's just say stash, regular. You have your own little stash, stashed away, tucked away tightly somewhere where anything could happen and you have that stash to protect your family and to help your family in anything and with everything that they need if you want a pair of earring and you don't want to turn to your spouse to be like hey babe can i have this you have your own money when babe see you with that earring he probably gonna be like oh babe nice earring where you get it from oh i bought it he might not believe you but you have your receipt. You have proof, okay? So, girl, stack your money up. Boy, stack your money up. Stop depending on people. Like, get your own thing. Be independent, okay? And listen to what I'm saying. Your parents taught you to be independent, not dependent. That's number four. Once again, your parents, your parents taught you to be independent, not dependent, okay? So if you're not independent, you can't teach your kids to be independent. If you're dependent and your kids grow up to see you like that, they feel like it's okay. Teach your kids how you want them to grow up. Same thing for the male. Male, if you, for instance, I, I see this a lot, right? When guys come from a foreign country, they feel like they, some of them, they should just sit down and their partner should do anything, to, should do everything to maintain the family or to maintain the household. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. Because if your partner is the one that to take care of your family all the time, what are you there for? Just to be home and look cute. And every day you're gonna be in makeup. Every day you're gonna be in makeup. Every day you're gonna be dressing cute, going about your business. I love this hair, by the way. I love this. This is so cute. This is so cute. <laughs> I had to give myself that compliment a little, you know, you know. But yeah, if your partner is the one that's going to be the breadwinner for your family, you have to know how to maintain and how to balance that and how to actually, your partner is giving you money to take care of the household. But what are you really doing with that money after you go grocery shopping, after you do everything? Are you stashing something aside? Are you, try, are you making sure that you have an saving account away put away where anything could happen anything could happen and your family is taken care of always make sure that you have a saving account for you and your kids and for even your your spouse just make sure you guys have some money aside so anything happen if a boy look pain and say come out of my house you have your own money for come out of that if a woman look pain and say hey boy take your dirty things them and take your clothes and take your clothes and stuff and exit out of my house. You know you have your money. You know you're good. So guess what? You're going to pack your suitcase. Probably even leave them closet because guess what? You leave old things behind and you take up all your new things and you exit out of that house. Get away from that toxic relationship. Get away from all of that. You know what I mean? But yeah, if anything could happen, you know you're taken care of. and You know you're good. So you can go without even worrying about where you're going to get your money from because you have some money stashed away so you go in your stash and you take your stash and you exit okay let's get to number five because i feel like i'm gonna be getting to uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right 
So number five, I want you to do one thing. Comment down below. I want you to comment down below on your thought or your opinion and why a woman or men should not depend on their spouse. I just gave you four. I want you to give me number five. Let me know what you guys think or what's your belief. Because I know some family or some race, it depends on your race because you have a lot of race that the male is the provider and the woman should just stay home and be um, a stay-at-home mom or a housewife. You know, like, you have a lot of race like that, but then you have a lot of, of people that feel like it's okay. But if that's your religion, that's okay, that's fine. But if it's not, and even if it's your religion, I feel like if you're a stay-at-home mom, you should always talk. Why is sound like that just now? You should always tuck, a, tuck something. You should always stash some things away, some some money, some things. Just stash it away. Even if you think that that's your race, because it doesn't matter, to be honest. It's because you may be with this person for this time, but your relationship probably is not forever. So you want, if anything could happen, anything should happen, you want, if anything should happen, you have your money aside to take care of you and to take care of your family, meaning your children or your kid and yourself, okay? So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I know um, it's kind of, it's been a while that I haven't really been posting consistent but I'm trying my best to post consistent. And you guys might see an ad on this video. I'm not sure because um, I finally, <laughs> I finally was monetized. So thank you guys for sticking with me. Thank you guys for riding with me. Thank you guys so, so much. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. <laughs>